The program cabinet is responsible for assuring programming that builds, supports, and sustains the vision and missions of the FCC congregation. Three congregation members, along with the acting co-chair and pastors as ex officio, make up the membership of the program cabinet, and the term of the office is three years. The program cabinet provides oversight, direction, and accountability to all programs and special events, except those that are administrative, financial, pastoral care, or worship programs and events. They generate programs as needed and provide assistance for church members to grow their program ideas. The PC is charged with ensuring that there are a variety of programs offered throughout the year. While the program cabinet meets at least quarterly, much of the work is accomplished between those meetings and special meetings of the program cabinet are called when discussion or programming decisions are needed between those quarterly meetings. In 2021, the program cabinet met six times. Meetings are open to all members of the congregation. The duties of the program cabinet include um, providing assistance to the pastors and church members to bring their current programs and new programs, um, new program ideas to life by acting as liaisons between the program leaders and the congregation, uh, calling on members to fill program needs and connecting people to the programs that they might be interested in. Another duty of the program cabinet is to assess proposed new programs by criteria. And these are the criteria we take into consideration. Does the program support the church's vision, mission, and core values? Does the program meet a demonstrated need in the congregation or elsewhere? Does the program have leadership in place? Is the program sustainable? Is there sufficient interest and energy around the participation by con the congregation to maintain the program or accomplish a successful event? Does the program avoid duplication of already existing programs? And is there sufficient room in the church calendar? Does it avoid overscheduling of events at any particular time or duplication? Here are some examples of the program cabinet at work. Cold weather clothing collection. Edie Koenig sent an email to the church asking if we could provide boxes in the church for cold weather clothes and accessories to support helping hands and chants. Edie's request was shared with the program cabinet, whose members, through quick email communication, agreed to assist this community service during Advent. Edie offered leadership and oversight, and the program cabinet took care of logistics, working with sanctuary arts and the decoration and placement of the collection boxes. Edie's idea for programming was compatible with our missional values and easily fit into our church schedule. Since the F's the Albany FCC Oodles of Comfort uh, Ministry also collects and distributes winter hats, gloves, scarves, and socks. It was decided a separate box will be provided for donations of those items we give away in our Oodles of Comfort program. This is an example of a member coming to the program cabinet with an idea and leadership for a service that is compatible with our missional values and easily fit into our church schedule. During the summer, it became clear that a high percentage of our community meal guests were not vaccinated. Program Cabinet contacted Lynn County Health Department to see if we could host a clinic at the church on a Thursday during the meal. Coordinating with our pastors, the Program Cabinet made contact with Medical Teams International, Representative from this organization, along with Lynn County Health, assisted the advertising setup and cleanup for the two hour vaccination event. Every guest who attended that evening who was not previously vaccinated received one dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine that evening. That's my church. 
Member Chris McLaughlin presented the program cabinet her idea to offer a comprehensive education series about the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. This program would serve to inform new and established members about what it means to be a disciple of Christ. Additional topics include how to read a budget, regional church, and general church, and how we are connected to each. In response to members' desire together while being cautious due to our continued pandemic, the program cabinet put in place a simple opportunity for gathering outside the building after hanging of the greens worship service on November 28th. Members enjoyed donut holes, warm cider, singing accompanied by a guitar, and most of all, visiting with one another. Have an idea for a program? Here's what you do. Contact any member of the 2022 program cabinet, your church office, or your pastors with your program idea. Determine what kind of support you'll need. Plan to present your idea at an upcoming program cabinet meeting. The program cabinet will assess your idea based on the criteria mentioned earlier in this presentation. The program cabinet thanks everyone who came up with ideas and had suggestions for programs in 2021. We enjoyed working with you and look forward to more programming in the future. <laughs>